Scorpio. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Scorpio Tarot reading. Scorpio love tarot reading. Scorpio love reading. And as is pretty much always the case, here at the Tarot Closet, Scorpio, love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self, their feelings for you, your feelings for them, who's making what move, if any, what's going on in the connection. Let's take a look at the energy. Scorpio, we have the Five of Cups. This is your energy, Mars and Scorpio energy and the Nine of Cups. So I'm going to tell you something. First of all, this is somebody who regrets hurting you, leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. It's also somebody who wants to apologize. And this is what you've been waiting for. Coming here with the Nine of Cups, Jupiter and Pisces energy. So wishes coming true, you could say. Is there something more? You know, it's one cup shy of the Ten of Cups. Had you built a life together? Were you building it? Was it on the table? Let's see if there's more here, but I'll tell you it's really clear that there is an apology around this. So it could be that for some of you there was some discord, there were some things said, so they're also apologizing for that. It may have caused the separation or just playing a part in it, but I tell you they're definitely, you're on their mind. And they're coming in here. And it could be that there is some kind of offer. We still see these two cups here up intact. Obviously, the three of cups here dumped over the emotional energy. That's bringing in the three of cups, Mercury and Cancer energy. So communication that didn't go well. Also, lack of communication, the hurt around it. But these two cups, Venus and Cancer, are still here. And we are seeing the Nine of Cups. So it's the apology that you've been waiting for. But is there more? You know, is this some kind of offer, coming together energy, talking about it? Well, <laughs> the Ace of Swords just wanted to come out, made its way out, and it wants to be your overall energy. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. Somebody is definitely getting some clarity, and it's giving them some ideas of what they're going to do here. It's transactional energy. This is communication. It's clarity in your relationship. It's the truth. And it's definitely that apology. So this is, it could be that there, yeah, that there is a kind of a coming out of nowhere energy, you know, an element of surprise. Maybe you weren't expecting to see or hear from this person, but there's definitely an energy here of coming in. So I, I was kind of getting distracted as I was sending your message and I thought, I think I wanted to do some more cutting of the deck. But in any case, it's showing the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So you definitely kind of have some defenses up, holding on to that Seventh Wand, sort of keeping the Six of Wands away. You know what I mean? And that's like somebody coming in wanting to communicate. They're definitely working on that. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe there's something they've seen or heard that has them a little bit triggered. I feel like they're kind of triggered. Like they're, well, my, my voice just cracked too. Definitely some throat ch chakra blockages being removed here. It's really strong of wanting to communicate. But the six pentacles here, you can see kind of wonky and lined up. That's bringing in the six of pentacles, moon and Taurus. And that's the reciprocal energy. It's around communicating. They're definitely wanting to communicate with you. This is really clear. It's just, uh, where are you at? <laughs> You know, because this is what you want. You want this apology, but you're also still hurt. And that was also really clear in the Five of Cups, which is your energy, Scorpio, of still carrying this hurt. And yeah, so the wish around that, again, is them coming here. Also, I want to say to be held accountable for some, some bad decisions Maybe even some dishonesty that was here. They're, they're definitely coming with an apology. You've been waiting for it. You want it, you need it. But there's something else maybe they're coming in here with. Okay. 
Scorpio, all your zodiac readings are linked below in the description. You'll also find them on the channel. Of course, all 12 zodiac signs. Down in the playlist, you will also find all signs tarot readings. These are collective love readings, love readings for the collective. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings below. So feel free to explore if you're inspired to do so. Let's take a look at the energy. Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Yeah. So there are definitely... Thinking of you, you are on their mind. <laughs> this is more of your energy, Scorpio. The Six of Cups, the Sun in Scorpio. Look at that. There is reunion energy here. Sometimes it can be nostalgic for me. This is a move. This is clarity that they're getting. There is, there is some guilt. There's an apology coming here for sure. It may be that you're not expecting this. It could be coming kind of out of nowhere energy. But this is what... It's definitely an apology that you... I feel like you deserve an apology that you've been waiting for and it's an apology coming and is there more because the queen of pentacles is very healing she's my protege to the empress you know so it's bringing in this apology it's telling me that it's also a sincere apology they're coming in here to be honest and i do feel like they're wanting to reconnect in this way you know it's a healing energy around this connection it's the pentacle and that bunny here, of course, that the Haas is, we say, in Austria. The rabbit, the heart, that's around new beginnings. It's fertility, and that's a new start. And the Queen of Pentacles has a lot of healing energy. She can kind of make some things work that weren't. And they're definitely in this nostalgic energy and getting a lot of information, I guess you could say downloads, and just figuring some things out here because they're thinking a lot about the past and the current energy and kind of what move they could make. This is a soul connection. Twin flame energy, if you're on a twin flame journey, I know not everybody is. Soulmate energy for sure. And I just want to mention that it could be you have known your person for many years. We could be going into childhood, but it can also just feel that way. You know, that's just, that's the soul connection energy coming through. Remember, this is a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. I'm channeling for you in May 2024 and you could be here in real time, but you could also be here many months, even years later, because this is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. It's a faded connection, Scorpio. So welcome again, whenever that is. Let's take a look at this energy. The Four of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a most definitely a reciprocal energy coming in. So what I have to say, the apology is pretty strong. You really have been waiting for it. There might be more coming in here. We saw that Eight of Pentacles, and we saw them working on it. Those Six of Pentacles were kind of lined up already. Like, you know, I feel like they had been worked out. And that's the reciprocal energy. You know, that's giving the apology. And I again, I feel like there's more. Four of Pentacles here, Sun in Capricorn energy. They haven't let you go. They're also still trying to work something else out. So I don't know what that is around their life, contracts. It could be anything from the time, getting over their ego. Maybe there's other contracts to jobs, people. I need to get some more in here, but it's really clear that they're coming in here with what you've been waiting for because that's kind of bringing in the Seven of Pentacles energy for me. Venus and Taurus, and that is an energy of you having put in a lot of time, a lot of emotions and effort, and just trying to make it work, and that you've been waiting for them, and that is something that they're working on coming in here with. It's clear. Nine of Cups energy, again. Five of Cups, the apology. Six of Cups, making that kind of, you could say, planning some strategy you know i don't know if it's just around communication king of swords or in person i would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video subscribe to the channel if you haven't thank you so much scorpio don't forget to check your notifications too i'm getting messages that people are not getting notified so i think what you need to do is unsubscribe and subscribe to reset the system 
uh, if you are trying to get notifications and you just noticed you haven't been, because I can also see that. It's, it, it has been the case when I look into uh, readings I can see and I can tell that um, a lot of you have not been getting notified. So anyway, let's see what else is coming through. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what Scorpio needs to see. Aho. The nine of pentacles. The six of cups came back. It came back in reverse. What? The nine of cups also came back in reverse. The four of pentacles. My gosh, came back in the upright. The five of cups came back. Whoa, that is just some goosebumpy stuff, just where we're grabbing them. So interesting. They are apologizing for this. Oh my gosh. So they were not living, I guess you, it's like living in the past energy here, having it come back. And this is the past energy because we saw that already coming in with the Six of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Five of Cups that they're coming in here to apologize. This is why they're apologizing Nine of Cups in reverse. So were you were you in a lot? Had you built a life together? Were you building it? Wasn't on the table. Something happened around that. There's something that they're still needing to work out, and they're clear. They're owning that. So this is why they're apologizing. This is, you could say, like, well, it's a wake up energy as well. Okay, so that's connected here to our Five of Cups energy. The apology of what they're apologizing for because it's here in reverse and I was feeling all the energies coming in with our five of cups and it's come back they've all come back three of them anyway in reverse the four of pentacles came back in the upright they're asking for forgiveness actually they're hoping you can get past it this is the wake up energy this is they know what they did and they know they need to apologize and and if they were lying to you so I don't know if it was just about what they could do what they couldn't do where they where they're at in their life what is that other pentacle is it a person is it is it just a fear of commitment is it location what is it because it's kind of like yeah I mean it's living in the past energy but this is, it's just really strongly coming around. And look, even our Nine of Pentacles, which is an incoming energy here, is looking over at it. So there was some level of commitment that this person, I don't know, did they chicken out? Were they not available? Is there another contract? Did they still not work it out? That they know they messed this up. That's what this is for me. Um, and even the Nine of Cups coming back in because they're apologizing. That Nine of Cups, Six of Cups, the Five of Cups, the apology that was is clearly the incoming energy as your reading began is clear. And this is why they haven't let you go. There is a long-term energy here. They still want this with you, but there's something that they, yeah, that they totally messed up here. They were leading you. It's almost like leading you to believe something uh, that maybe at the time they couldn't even offer. I think it kind of, I almost, my gosh, I looked over here, I almost felt like this Ace of Swords card was blinking. <laughs> it's my candles, but it was just a weird energy. Anyway, it's not like a, something they did on purpose, but it's almost like, because that naive energy, it's almost like having, um, they wanted it too, okay? This is something that they want, they still want it. But it was like there was just a sort of maybe leading things on or, yeah, that energy that they, it wasn't really realistic. It wasn't really something they could do perhaps at that time or maybe even you couldn't do it. I kind of feel like it's around them and they're apologizing for that. They're apologizing for that. Is there more? Are they coming in with something more here or is this more just they're wanting to let you know and that you're still on their mind, that's for sure. You do need this apology. You've been waiting for this apology. It's clearly coming in. And it's around these expectations that I think that this is coming off, that they set, that they did not. Okay, so this is how it's coming. That they set, but they did not um, live up to. Yeah, look how just, and now it's switching over here into the top of the deck. I tell you, <laughs> sometimes my guides have a sense of humor. Okay. Yeah, this is really clear. The King of Swords energy is here and it's coming in reverse. It's the lack of community. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is really strong. It's somebody who has been in shadow and ego, Emperor Aries energy, Mars energy, they know that. So making some bad decisions, big time here, connected, of course, with our Nine of Cups that came back in reverse. It's around that. The expectations, they wanted it to work, so I kind of feel like they were trying to make themselves believe it could, but in the process, you got hurt. Page of Cups in reverse energy. It's the breakup energy. It's the immature energy. It's also connected to that. And they're sorry. The Queen of Wands is kind of here to set it right as well. There's a confident energy here. And they really want to apologize to you. They feel bad. They're not sleeping. They are thinking about you. And they know that they hurt you. They want, they wanted, want this too. But yeah, there was just something. There's something here that they need to work out. I don't know if they were being dishonest about it or what, but they want to work this out with you. Five of Wands in reverse, Saturn and Leo energy. You know, it's like wanting to work out these problems. They're trying to work out theirs. They want to work it out with you. It's like restoring some harmony. They're not sleeping. And I also feel like they hurt you. It's the, that energy of not sleeping as well. The Nine of Swords, Gemini and Mars energy connected to the Six of Cups in reverse, Scorpio energy. The sun energy, um, and that's in reverse here, which is an energy of like a delay, delayed gratification, a sadness around it. So it's like both waiting for them to, to live up to what they said or to contact to, to communicate, because there's no communication here. And just being upset by that, expectations not being met. Living in the past energy is here for everybody. They're living in it because they know they messed it up and you've been waiting for them to own it. And apologize, you know? What can I say? It's like anxiety, not sleeping energy. And it is connected to this lack of communication. Look also connected here to the Nine of Wands in reverse. That's the moon in Sagittarius. And this is kind of like, let's have, I, I want to apologize to you. It's like, I don't know, you know, it's like ending this no contact, no communication and or in separation, because this is an energy of just really keeping the walls up, not not letting someone in. It's kind of like for both of you, really, because the ones that are behind there are the eight, and that's communication, you know, and it is delayed. It's the eight of wands here behind that ninth wand, Mercury and Sagittarius. So it's a delay. It's not communicating here with the King of Swords, too. Gemini and Mercury energy. Gemini, of course, all about... You know what? A, a brings in the Page of Swords energy for me too. It's like studying the truth and you know Gemini just receiving information and studying and learning and then putting that information back out into the world to, to use. Do you know what I mean? Great communicators and all of that. And connected here to the ruling planet for Gemini, which is Mercury. Oftentimes connected to reading and writing, but communication. You know, and it's in reverse. It's literally the lack of that. So it could also just be now around not responding to messages and that sort of dashing hopes, um, kind of putting you into no contact, not returning a call, or just kind of where things have been. Because they know that they, they want, want this too, but they know they messed it up. And I don't know if leading you on is the right word, but it definitely, yeah, it was not good. And they're apologizing. Look, we have our Nine of Wands in reverse and Nine of Swords. That's a 99. That's an energy of fulfillment. So, and we saw that in the Nine of Cups already. Oh, interesting. Coming in, that's the incoming energy, by the way, that Nine of Cups, Six of Cups, Five of Cups. That's the apology coming in. And this is the energy of why they're apologizing. Okay. And that's the apology, the fulfillment energy, 99. And I just saw the other nine. So it's 999. And that's the cycle ending. It's getting us into that new cycle energy. So it's the end of no contact, no communication. It could be that you're just getting this apology here. I, I don't I don't feel like it's just here though. I think there's an actual apology being made, you know, apology that's coming in. Look at the regret, the lovers in reverse. Are these yours? Those are yours. Okay, and the bottom of the deck, there's the page of swords that I was feeling. Okay, yeah, so they're watching, they're holding on to this, they're getting ready to make a move. There's some immaturity around it. 
if you're connected via social media or email, they're definitely keeping some tabs. <laughs> you could say like, you know, strategizing and talking to other people, that sort of thing, it's spying energy. But they're also holding on to the truth, which we see here. It, they're really wanting to apologize. They have a lot of regret. The lover's card coming in here in reverse, Gemini energy, Venus, the planet of love. This is Archangel Raphael, the angel for healing, just wants to heal what's broken. Archangel Raphael, of course, well, the lover's card is connected to the heart chakra, you know, it's in reverse here. It's a regret. And it's also Archangel Raphael in particular is connected to the throat chakra, communication, I speak. So what are they speaking here? I mean, there's a lot of regret for hurting you, for for setting things up and not following through, for breaking promises, I feel. <sighs> yeah, for kind of breaking things up, whatever that means, even if it was just the possibilities of where you were going, you know, and you weren't quite there yet. They're taking responsibility for that. They're sorry for hurting you. It's strong, the energy coming in. The soulmate energy is strong. And if you're on a twin flame journey, that is here as well. There is a validation here with our Five of Cups in particular that if there was some arguing around this, they're apologizing for that because there is an energy of discord, possibly some arguing. But the choices that they made that they regret were already coming through. So it's really just a validation for me. The Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Moon in reverse, and oh wow, yeah. So there's the Three of Cups too in reverse. There's a lot of past energy coming in. And there it is. So we saw that. So that's directly what they're apologizing for here. For some of you, it could be that it was an actual event. Look, and it wants to go here. Yeah. It could be that it was an, around other people. If, if that's the case, I know it's not for everybody. It's still around the communication. Okay. It wants to go there, but I need to finish this message. Because that is, this is Mercury and Cancer energy. You know, it's an emotional... It's in reverse, so it's like not communicating well, saying some things perhaps, maybe even other people involved. And if it's in person, you know, maybe people were there. Uh, but very hurtful, very much why they're apologizing here in the Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, and it wants to go here with the Page of Cups in reverse, who's kind of causing some of this trouble, <laughs> you could say, like around some breakup energy. And it could be even for some of you, I just want to say it's not for everybody. If there are vices you could say involved, devil energy, addictions, that sort of thing, or it just could be that somebody was just maybe even partaking too much. And uh, whether it was your person, other people around, it just didn't go well. So Again, it's not for everybody that it's in person because this is Mercury energy. So it could have also been around um, a phone call, SMS, social media. So this is this is clarity and the truth coming, the moon in reverse. I really like this, actually. You know, of course, you can see the, the waxing moon in here. And that's kind of an energy of getting it together before the full moon. And of course, that's the subconscious energy, what's been hidden. And it's also what's being revealed with, the, with this conscious energy of the sun shining on that. It's in reverse here. So that's the big, be beautiful full moon coming. <laughs> you know, that's highlighting everything that's been hidden there. A lot of the problems around this. A lot of emotional energy here. They're definitely, this is a strong, strong apology. They are sorry for sure. Really, this is clarity and the truth coming. And it's also connecting with the three of pentacles in reverse. And that's, again, not being there. It could even be there were other people involved and they were not defending you or they weren't standing up for the two of you or for you. But it's the lack of, of coming together because this is a teamwork energy. You know, it's a coming together, collaborating and, and working things out. And um, so this is also why they're apologizing. And interesting because it's the Three of Pentacles and it's connecting directly here with the Four. They're still trying to work something out, but what they are coming here with, that's coming through here today and hopefully either in person or via message is really strong or a phone call to you, is a lot of 
clarity that you deserve and a, and a lot of apologetic energy. They want this too. This is, this is something they want too. So again, you've been waiting for this apology. There is a strong connection. I do feel like you still love each other. There's just something here that they're still needing to work out. Let's bring in some Oracle and see if we can get a little more. I'm shuffled and ready to go, but I, I always like to move the energy some more. I'm not reading it in reverse, FYI, for your information. <laughs> you probably know, but you never know. It's you two people from all over the world watching. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. What else does Scorpio need to see? Aho. Okay, wow, Scorpio, yeah. Soulmates. So this is a soulmate. They're seeing you as a soulmate. And they want this too. They've they've wanted this too, and they still want this too. They're working something out here. And they're sorry, really sorry for hurting you. I, I don't think it was on purpose. I'm the the energy that I'm getting here is that it kind of was, but only in the sense that they really wanted it. So they yeah, there may have been some lack of clarity, some decisions that led to you feeling kind of like they weren't being on it, like they weren't, I don't want to say played, because I don't think this is somebody who meant to play you. It may be feeling like that, though, because there's just this energy of it really, there's some things that still needed to be done for it. This is like, it's something they really wanted, so they wanted to believe it, too, you know? But there's still something that needs to happen here, change. So I do like this because this is literally what they're doing. Mending. It's repairing. It's sewing. You're both looking up here. It's time. Look, the wings of fate. Holding the needles. Holding this kind of celebratory banner, you could say. It's a seven. Controlling what you can. Letting go of what you can't. But assessing the situation. It's healing energy. It's, it's definitely healing energy. And they want to work this out with you. So where you're going from here is not really clear for me. I feel like there's still something that's here to be worked out, but they're also wanting to work this out. So perhaps there's some moves still to be made after that. But this is definitely the apology that you've been waiting for. And I do feel like you still love each other. And it feels almost like a pin in it energy. Do you know what I mean? Like something else still needs to change. I don't know. A new beginning, a new life coming here with that. So it's also a reinvigoration, I want to say, around just the energy for both of you, your energies. This really needing to happen. This is an 11, or excuse me, <laughs> 12, it's a 3. It's around timing, divine timing. But communication for sure. Fate and destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. Energy here is strong between worlds. Yeah. So could be talking about distance. We could be talking about other partnerships here, cultural, religious differences, people that are just living different lives, two people that love each other for sure. Soulmate energy is really, really strong. Twin flame energy, if you're on a twin flame journey, they want to own up and heal and apologize for how they treated you and how they left things. It's really clear here. They want this too. There's just something still here that needs to be worked out. Wow. Higher power, strong validation of your connection together here. These almost, these, it just even the, the visuals of these cards look, because this is like my little mini judgment, <laughs> you know, Archangel Gabriel energy of the waking up. What do you want? Make a decision. There's strong apology here. There's a lot of forgiveness coming through here right now that I feel you're receiving. It could be that you're getting that in person again or just via message, but it's here. They know they were in, they, yeah, they want this too. There's just something here, again, that, I don't know, it's kind of like, maybe it was always there or is still there, but they didn't want to believe it or just, the connection is really strong. Higher power energy, of course, connecting us directly here with the divine God, goddess, the universe, the universe, what is that for you? And your connection, just a strong validation of your spiritual connection. Really strong spiritual connection. This is connected to the crown chakra, I know. 
And it's also connected to judgment, and we have that energy here for me. It's interesting. It really is connecting because it's like, my oh. So I was talking and talking. I'm pretty sure I just put it down, so nothing really changed. All I had said was that the connection here to judgment for me, or my little protege of connecting us to the crown chakra, which we see here, look right below is where it is. Have I know what this is. I'm awake, I know, this is, you're my soulmate. I, I really still want this. And I'm getting the truth and I'm getting the clarity and I'm bringing that to you and I'm sorry. I'm still trying to work this out. There's something still they're working out. So that's really all I said. And just that they're understanding your connection. Then I went to get the love messages and the camera was off. The tarot closet love messages, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self, Scorpio. If you feel you're sending the messages or a message, then you are. Telepathy is real and it's really clearly here between the two of you. What do you want to say to your Scorpio? What else I should say because they're coming in fast. Okay, no, that's too many. Sorry. <laughs> that's yours though. That's it. I'm sorry I ran, speaking of which, okay, yeah, right here with mending regret, lovers in reverse, for how they left things, leaving the connection, discord, if there was some arguing energy, but a lot of regret, this is, I just feel like, yeah, there's still love here between you, I don't feel good enough for you, wow, on here on Treasure Island, by the way, this turtle, slow turtle, but still, nonetheless, here in the divine, around timing, moving. Faster on land, the turtles, when they get there and bury their eggs and start building their life, they, they go and bury their eggs there. So they're, the possibilities of what they're seeing and what they feel is still here. Uh, they're carrying the treasure chest with hearts and stars, starfish, infinite possibilities. Hearts, stars in general, Connecting, of course, to the star energy, Aquarius, renewal, hope, clarity, like not letting go of what they wish for. I'm coming kind of energy. I'm trying to work this out. Wow. It's also connecting with our Nine of Cups, which came in, the wish fulfillment of the apology and biggest wish energy. You are my biggest wish energy. My world changed when I met you. You are perfect. My world is dark without you. So lovers, in reverse, please never give up on us. I miss you. By the way, it's coming to a five. That's the throat chakra connection. It's what they want you to know, I miss you. Everything, really. We will be together again someday between worlds, could be a lot of things. Other partnerships, cultural, religious differences, timing, this is of course a three, it's divine timing, communication. Telepathy is really strong, but look, stepping out of one into another, it's celebratory, connecting with higher power, that's you, we will be together again someday. I love you, I love you, I'm going here with soulmate and I miss you. I really wanna hold you, I am waiting for the right time. Here connecting with new life. The tarot closet channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. I feel like this person wants to me to just read love messages to you for a long time. <laughs> it's a message I've never really heard before, but it's coming through strong. The tarot closet love notes. You mean a lot to me. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Coming here also, I wanted to bring it through, but it, uh, the messages were coming in to that emperor in reverse energy, the divine masculine energy, Aries and Mars, you know, in reverse of in their shadow and ego, obviously, and hiding feelings. And I mean, not being clear, hiding a lot of things I feel definitely some pride and ego, but they want you to know that I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. You mean a lot to me. Please forgive me. Look at that. I'm between worlds. Whoa. 
just the way that came in. I was stupid. That's also, I got to say, Emperor in reverse energy. By the way, the Seven of Pentacles energy here in reverse, that's you. <laughs> energy that I feel like coming through around you. It's Venus and Taurus energy. Of course, your person could be a Taurus, but they could be a lot of things. So don't worry about that. Because you're just tired of, you've just been waiting a long time to hear this apology. And waiting, I feel like, on this person. It's an energy of like, you know, just needing to step away because it's just been a strong delay and you've put a lot of time, a lot of emotional energy, a lot of effort. We have a deep soul connection into this connection. Putting it here with soulmates, but we also, don't we have the Six of Cups here? Yeah. Or I'm feeling it. You are my person. Yeah, I'm putting this here. It's everything surrounding your soulmate energy here. Do you still love me? I love you. Do you still love me? Wow. Because you do have one foot, two feet out the door, but I understand that. This feels like this is just something bigger, you know? This isn't just a, okay, I can come right back in and here we go. This is one of those connections. If you're on a twin flame journey, it's definitely really strong. I know not everybody is. Do you think of me too? And think of a new life together. This is what just came through there. I made so many mistakes. Regret the lovers in reverse. I reread our messages. Yeah. Everything reminds me of you. They're watching, they're talking, they're looking. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. I'm sorry because I feel like I feel like they want me to just keep reading more and more, but it also feels like it needs to end now. Messages from your person. This is real. I like this a lot, putting this here with higher power, with your connection. Spiritual connection. Whoa. <laughs> Knocking right into the connection here with that Ace of Swords, what they know here. It's strong. Beautiful Scorpio, thank you so much for joining me. I sure appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I did. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This really helps to keep the channel growing. And don't forget if you are if you want notifications, if you're just signing up for them now, it should work. But if you were signed up and you weren't getting them, you might have to unsubscribe and subscribe. It's some weird YouTube glitch. It happens sometimes. Anyway, thank you again. I'm sending you love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you, and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye Scorpio.